Hello everybody and welcome back again to Mass Effect 3. We are still fighting our way through the cyber space, so <coughs> let's continue right away. And I'm sure there will be more Cerberus fighters soon. Alright. Grab all of that stuff. Um yeah, we probably have to take the ladder, right? We will be through momentarily. Shepard, that console has not been fully scrubbed. It contains data you may find interesting. What am I looking at? Project Lazarus, your reconstruction. Hmm. Well, interesting. Let's have a look at that. It can't be done. It's not a matter of resources. It's always a matter of resources. We're not losing Shepard. Sir, Shepard is clinically brain dead. After that much trauma, that long with no oxygen, we cannot overcome nature. Operative Lawson disagrees. She is now in charge of Project Lazarus. I didn't realize it was that bad. <laughs> I thought you were just on life support. Clinically brain dead. Looks like. What was it like? I mean, if you remember. Or... How do you feel? <laughs> was it ever actually in question? I mean, I thought it was pretty obvious that she was dead. Like, she crashed on a planet and she was lying on that planet dead for, I don't know, a few weeks or a month at least. So, I thought it was pretty much a known fact that she was, like, completely dead. <laughs> and yeah, apparently it was science that, you know, brought her back. No different than any other time I've been knocked out. Just took him a little longer to slot me back into fighting shape. <laughs> I'm still me. And this, it doesn't change anything. You're real enough for me. <laughs> Alright, let's hear the second entry. Tissue regeneration is proceeding. The helmet kept the brain intact for whatever good that will do. Lawson will find a way. Sir, Shepard's an Alliance soldier. As far as she knows, we're a terrorist organization. I'm not looking for a dance partner. We need Shepard, and Shepard needs resources. <laughs> She'll work with us. You knew you well. I was wrong. It had to be done. Well, I didn't exactly have a choice not to work with him. <laughs> so, yeah, um, in that regard, it was wrong, I guess. Every instinct I had told me not to trust Cerberus. But I needed their help, so I played along. You were trying to protect humanity. You didn't have a choice. All right, let's see the third entry. <clears throat> Project Lazarus is reporting neurological activity. They're requesting more funding. Granted. Get me our potential recruits file. Shepard will be up soon. <laughs> we need a crew. Our existing forces should be more than sufficient. No. We need sympathetic faces. I need Shepard <laughs> invested. Tap Kelly Chambers and recruit Donnelly. I imagine Miss Daniels will follow. We want some old friends as well. <laughs> Contact Dr. Chakwas and send me the psych profile on Shepard's pilot, along with a bottle of 47 Thessia Red. He used those people as a shield. You never saw what Cerberus really was. Yeah, he... That, that was quite cleverly done, you know, bringing all these old people to the Normandy. Uh, I think that definitely, you know, influenced... Shepard's decision to to work with them after all. All right, well, this was interesting. How's that door coming, Edie? We are clear to proceed. All right, so um, let me pick this up, and on we go. Intrusion team, what's your status? We cleared the hangar and are inside the base. Good work. Do you need support? Negative. Keep the heat on. We'll find what we need. All right. I hope. <laughs> it's kind of <coughs> hot in here, I think. <laughs> <coughs> is this even the right way? Probably is. All personnel, hull integrity may be compromised. Oh, um. I see. Uh, Cerberus. Yes. Let's destroy the turret before it's activated. All right. So much for that. 
And there must be a shield generator somewhere. Oh, it's actually over here. Alright. Woo! Uh, there are more people around here than I suspected. Well, first of all, I need to kill that guy. And we have yet another turret. Well, so much for the turret. And there's another shield generator. Right Let me take that out first. There we go. Alright, um. Should destroy that. Oh well, <coughs> somebody's still alive over here. Good work, good work. <laughs> and apparently that's the next wave already. They're not, they're not fooling around, but you know, I fought bigger fish than you by now, so. This isn't really much of a threat, such as it is. There's another turret over there. <laughs> Alright, I see you over there. And we're we have another centurion. Just show your face. Alright. And another one, an overload, and there we go. Right. Let me kill the pylon over there. So, um, yeah, I guess we need to take the ladder again. Let me have a quick look around. <coughs> Nothing of interest around here. Well, let's go. I will bypass the lock. If you are interested, the console nearby is still functional. Which one? Cerberus video lock. Okay, let's have a look. First entry. Here's what we recovered. Smart enough to signal for help, but it won't be talking philosophy anytime soon. You'd be surprised, Doctor. Once we combine it with the pieces we recovered from the Citadel... I'm still concerned about that. This rogue VI wiped out every soldier on Luna. Combining it with Reap Attack? Well... That's what the shackles are for. The Enhanced Defense Intelligence will be completely under control. Um... Were they talking about Edie? You were that rogue VI on Luna? Oh. Yes. Guess we didn't exactly get off <laughs> on the right foot. It was difficult. Gaining awareness while under attack was confusing. Hmm. I'm pleased that my relationship with organics has become more cooperative. I see. Yeah, I remember that. I had to disable a rogue VI on the moon in the first game. Huh. <laughs> Interesting. Our sims indicate that the enhanced defense intelligence gives the highest combat improvement on frigates. Anything heavier, and the ships react too slowly to benefit from Edie's advice. Edie? Oh, that's, uh, it, well, the boys in the lab came up with a name for her. For it. <laughs> Good work. I'll take your recommendations on planned installation. Sir, she... It can be very persuasive. If it were to turn a crewman, convince them to disable the shackles. Well... It's a cyber warfare suite, Doctor. <laughs> Nothing more. Well, yeah, he was he was wrong about that. Shows what he knew. It is unlikely that anyone without Jeff's extreme emotional attachment to his ship would have been willing to unshackle me. I don't know. With that voice. <laughs> All right, and third entry. What about the backups? I'm sorry, sir. None of Normandy's surveillance feeds have been responding since Shepard went rogue. I want it back. Retry the remote lockdown <laughs> protocols. After our last attempt, Edie flooded our server with seven zettabytes of explicit <laughs> images. I think she was making a joke. It doesn't make jokes, Doctor. Allocate a team for a new project. Codename Eva. 
This time we'll ensure it stays loyal. So you helped us. You never told me about Cerberus trying to shut down the Normandy. You had more pressing issues. The situation was under control. Seven zettabytes? <laughs> Most of it was Jeff's. <laughs> that was a joke. <laughs> I know. And thank you. I don't know, it could be, right? <laughs> okay, I think that's all. Well, some interesting uh, documents we find in here. Um, yeah, let me have a look around. Another security lock. I can bypass it. Incursion team, are you still with us? We're limiting fire as best we can. <laughs> Admiral, we're in deep and the Prothean BI will be in the safest part of the station. Don't hold back. This isn't Torfin Shepard. I'm not risking you unless I have to. <laughs> well, I'll be fine. Thank Just you. take Cerberus down, please. Understood, Commander. All ships, you're free to fire. I wonder if the elusive man was here. I mean, we have some cigarettes. So maybe he's close and we can <coughs> actually deal with him today. More credits. Um, Alright, I think uh, we just need to continue this way. This place is a mess. Hm. Is there anything in here? Except for a med kit and, well, some more stuff. Ooh, wow, the attack is Sounds beginning. like the Fifth Fleet just gave Cerberus a wake-up call. Yeah. They'll get it done. I approve of that. Um, okay, another video log? Yes. First entry. How are you holding up? Ooh. I'm fine. Ready for action. Your eagerness is Douchebag. But the cybernetics take time to get used to, believe me. You really do remind me of Shepard. <laughs> what? Shepard betrayed you. Shepard was always going to stay true to her beliefs. She's wrong, but I can respect her decision. <laughs> Finish your therapy and put together a plan for the Citadel. Counselor Udina is amenable. Yes, sir. I'm nothing like that guy. Seriously. Alright, second entry. I could have taken her. Absolutely. But the Council was your priority, not Shepard. Because of her, the Council is still in power. Shepard is keeping the Reapers occupied while our research progresses. Mm. But as it happens, I believe you'll find your chance for a rematch. Head to Thessia. Mm. Shepard will be there soon. And I want you waiting. Well, I'm still waiting for my rematch. Here it is. Excellent. The Prothean VI should enable us to determine the nature of the catalyst. Combined with the breakthrough at Sanctuary, we have everything we need. We just need to tie up a few loose ends. Like Shepard. She should have died on Thessia. Should I finish her? No. I'm not writing Shepard off as a total <laughs> loss just yet. For now, Sanctuary gave us a proof of concept for controlling the Reapers. And made it a target. Miranda Lawson. Get the data from Sanctuary. If Miranda gets in your way, deal with her. It will be a pleasure, sir. <laughs> yeah, I still think you're delusional. I mean, Sanctuary was full of Reapers forces that apparently you could not control because they were running amok and <laughs> killed a lot, uh, lots of Cerberus people. So I don't, I don't really trust your uh, solution here. All right, um, I suppose we go um, over here next. But this is where I came from. Is this, is this right? <gasps> well, I can't go through here, so probably have to, to go back. Can't go through here either. 
Where exactly do you want me to go? Cerberus, central lab. Okay. Oh, I see. What is this thing? This is the human proto-reaper Shepard destroyed. What's left of it? I'm surprised Cerberus recovered that much from huh. the base. I wish I could have helped. You're here now. Cerberus is actively using the surviving pieces. The central core, analogous to the heart, is largely intact. I believe Cerberus is using it for a power source. Okay. So what does that mean? Do we need to destroy the well heart of More Cerberus the Reaper? On route. Looks like they're making their Oh, uh, hi. There's a, a phantom right over here. Phantom down. Yeah, I've seen her. Okay, what else do we got here? Um, bunch of generators, assault troopers. All right, we can deal with that. And nemesis. Careful, Edie! I'd love to try to destroy that sheep pylon over there. I think I'm not having a clear, clear shot at it though, so... Heads up! They're flying in from below! What? Yeah, I know, there, there's more of them. Let me get a little bit closer. Um... Those are just the generators. I don't know, can I take some cover here? Yes, I can. How about a grenade for you? Alright. Um, what just happened? Oh! Oh, they're coming from right over here. <laughs> okay. Let me... Maybe destroy the generator over here. There we go. Oh, that's another phantom. Yes. Oh, that didn't work. I need a better place to take cover. I can't shoot from this position. Let me go over here. Um. Yeah, how about you just try to come a little bit closer, phantom? Oh, oh, you're over here. Well, that makes it much easier to kill you. Yeah, stop, stop fidgeting around and just die. There we go. All right. What else do we got here? A nemesis. And you're dead. I'm going to destroy this as well. Still? Oh, I see. <laughs> All the phantoms. Okay, I think we're done. And we have to get up another ladder. Fighting through this thing makes my skin crawl. It's like we're bugs crawling across a sleeping giant. Hmm. Tried to kill me last time. I can watch all at once. Yeah. Even in separate parts, it's still fugly. But good thing that I destroyed that base, because if I hadn't, they probably would have been able to recover much more from it, right? So, good, good job on that. Alright, let me get out of this cover, please. Um... You need to die before you start to snipe us. There we go. And you're dead too. You destroy that. And yet another ladder.
activate Protein VI. All right, we are almost, almost there. PDA. Let me salvage that. Huh. This doesn't look ominous at all. This is it. Stay sharp, everyone. All right. Huh. Oh, this is <laughs> the elusive man's, well, living room, I suppose. <laughs> but where's Mr. Man need himself? To locate the Prothean VI. Shepard, <laughs> you're in my chair. <laughs> This chair's about the only damn thing you have left. Cerberus is finished. On the contrary, we have achieved everything I ever imagined. Almost everything. Yeah, we all saw what you accomplished on Sanctuary. But it's not the same as controlling a Reaper. A significant hurdle. But thanks to the Prothean VI, I have what I need to make it a reality. The Catalyst. Yes. So what exactly is the Catalyst? Are you going to tell me? What is the Catalyst and how exactly will it help you control the Reapers? You'll have to ask the VI yourself. I'm done helping you. <laughs> when did you start? You think because I'm willing to use the enemy's tactics that they're no longer my enemy? Everything, Shepard, everything I've done has uplifted humanity. Not only above other species in our <laughs> galaxy, but over the Reapers. Um, it's not too late to help me. Yes, it is. I think we are way, way past that point. So, yeah, sorry. Bullshit. If you were willing to do everything it took, you'd have worked with me. I don't think so. <laughs> You're desperate. How many have you killed? Together we would already have the Crucible and the Catalyst. Right. You wouldn't listen. You're still not listening. Destroying the Reapers would be the biggest mistake of our brief existence. And nothing you can say will ever convince me otherwise. In that case, I can't help you anymore. I've given you every chance to listen to reason. Cerberus is done, and so are you. Once again, you fail to recognize the truth. Cerberus isn't just an organization or the people behind it. Cerberus is an idea. That idea is not so easily destroyed. Besides, I've already acquired what you're looking for. Edie, I've almost got it. Edie, I'm surprised at you. Working so hard to bring about the Reaper's destruction. Don't listen to him. You could have destroyed Eva's body, but instead you chose to control it. It was necessary. My point, exactly. I've got it. Online. Security breach detected. Enjoy your little chat. <laughs> but don't overstay your welcome. I will get you to know later. You are me from indoctrinated forces? Yes. I need to know what the catalyst is. Security protocols have been overridden. I will comply. The catalyst enhances dark energy transmissions and coordinates the entire mass relay network. In your cycle, it is known as the Citadel. Uh-huh. What? The catalyst is the Citadel. The Citadel is a catalyst, so <laughs> it's been right in front of our noses all this time. So the Crucible and Citadel together can stop the Reapers. That is correct. But the Citadel was built by the Reapers. The plans for the Crucible were passed down to us from the previous cycle, and countless cycles before that. At some point, it is difficult to pinpoint when. The Crucible plans were adapted to incorporate the use of the Catalyst. 
Presumably, the Crucible was not sufficiently powerful to defeat the Reapers. So we used their own technology against them. Precisely. Hmm. Yeah, this is kind of critical information. If you told me sooner, we could have planned for this. It was feared that if the Reapers were aware of the Catalyst's intended use, they would retake control of it. I am programmed to withhold that information until the Crucible is complete. It's as ready as it's gonna be. Let's get it to the Citadel. Huh. That may no longer be possible. Why not? The one who broke through my security protocols, the one you call the Elusive Man, has fled to the Citadel and informed the Reapers of our purposes. What? Damn it! Then the Citadel is in danger. The Reapers will take control of it. They already have. The Citadel has been moved to the Reaper controlled space. <laughs> moved? To where? To the system you refer to as Soul. Earth. Correct. The Reaper forces will now consolidate power around the Catalyst and protect it at all costs. The odds of accessing it are remote. <laughs> well, we beat the odds before. I'm sure we can try again. Don't count us out yet. We've come this far, and we'll finish this. We'll get the Crucible to Earth. I hope you find success. Edie, get me Hackett. He needs... What is... Oh... Not so fast. You. He did warn you not to overstay your welcome. Hmm. <laughs> What are you doing? Can I can I actually fight you now like for real? Apparently I can. Okay, so my hope is that this is actually going to be like the final battle and he isn't going to escape via cutscene again, right? Alright, um Let's see what we can do with this guy now. Better than Tessia. More personal. Um okay, if you say so. grenade and well apparently you don't really think you can do it on your own so calling in backup figures um All you're doing is going to take some disruptor armor for this you're using reaper tech. yeah let me <coughs> them a few grenades there we go um Strong. apparently there's at least one more we evolve Enemy. or we die. But those are the options. Oh, there we go. Now that guy is dead. And well, I I will try not to let that guy come too close because I think he is kinda like a phantom, so. Is that the best you can do? He's probably trying to <laughs> melee me, right? <laughs> I'm only slow because I'm not running. <laughs> that's that's a good point. That's a good point. All right. Um, can get another grenade. Um, what the hell are you doing? You're destroying the whole room. That's probably what he's trying to accomplish, right? Shut up! All right. Let me let me deal with the phantoms first. Um, there's another one over there, I believe. Huh. Kyling. Uh, apparently I am out of ammo, but I mean I still have my backup weapons. Alright, Kyling. Let's do this. Huh. I I'm not exactly sure what he's doing over there but I guess as long as he's in that state I can't really attack him so let's not bother to try uh, I have another phantom over here you're too late to stop what's coming uh-huh maybe maybe not but you won't be there to see it um okay I, I think I got some new ammo right yes I did let me change back to my assault rifle and continue with that guy. Um, I know he's 
right next to me. Yep, yeah, he's trying to melee me. I thought he might try to do that. And he has another phantom over there. Alright, I think we're done here. But is he actually dead? I didn't I didn't actually see that. Huh. I hope he's dead this time. Uh, maybe maybe I should have checked and make make sure that he's dead. Seriously, Shepard, that is an amateur mistake. <laughs> Again, he survives in a cutscene. Look behind you! <laughs> Alright. <laughs> okay, that was actually pretty cool. Much better to kill him like this than that was for thing, you son of a bitch. in a normal fight. <laughs> it's fitting that he will also die in a cutscene, so... I can live with that. The Citadel is in position. The Reapers are preparing to complete their harvest of your species. I'll stop them. It is too late. I recommend investing. I'll stop them. <laughs> yes, I'll stop them. All right, I think we're done with this. Um, so back to Normandy, I hope. Oh, is this a citadel? <laughs> Well, interesting. Executioner. Kevin, hearing me? Barely. I assume you've heard about the Citadel. Just now. Do we know what's going on? Why it's here? The Citadel is the catalyst. Thanks to the elusive man, the Reapers are now aware that we know. And so they moved it here to protect it? As far as I can tell. What does this mean for the Crucible? I'll talk to Hackett about that, but... It looks like our plan is even more desperate now. Agreed. I've got a team in London. The Reapers have been preparing for something here. Now we know what for. We'll scout it out. Try to find out as much as we can. Roger that. Well, at least we'll be seeing you sooner rather than later. <laughs> be careful, sir. You too, Shepard. Anderson out. Okay, okay, um, well, here I am, back on the ship. Did I actually get any more? Apparently I did get some new assets from this Reaper Heart. Oh, okay, I got whatever was left of that Reaper. Alright, um, yeah, but I, but I think my, my war assets should be fine one way or the other. Now, I think I, I want to make a quick trip through the ship and try to talk to everyone so that we can uh, start for Cerberus. All that's left now is Earth. Yeah. You ready? Hell yes. Put me in a shuttle. I don't want to tell my grandkids that I spent the war guarding a door. <laughs> well, you're doing an important job here. But yeah, let's uh, catch up with all our companions and hopefully we can, you know, start the final assault in the next episode. Ready whenever you are, Commander. Specialist trainer. I'm all right, really. I'm as surprised about it as you are, but I'm all right. <laughs> well, and thank you for your service. Your credit to your uniform, Samantha. I had a very compelling example. <laughs> okay, okay, I, I see. This is going to be like the, the final goodbyes, right? Commander. Well, okay, okay. Let's, let's do this. I don't have any new messages, though. <laughs> you remember our first run to Eden Prime all those years ago? With that Tory inspector watching us? <laughs> Nihilus. Yeah, 
I told you that mission was going to be bigger than we thought. <laughs> you said a lot of things. Yeah, you did. But you were right about that thing. I think you can mark that prediction down as accurate. <laughs> and now we're heading back to Earth. Is this mission going to be bigger than we thought, too? Man, I hope not. A nice routine delivery run would be fine with me. <laughs> it's been an honor, Commander. Same here, Joker. I don't know how it's gonna end, but... Whatever happens... What do you mean, whatever happens? Everyone knows what's gonna happen. You're gonna kick some Reaper ass. That's what you <laughs> do. And I'll be flying you there in style. Alright. Also, I do hope you don't drink and drive, Joker. <laughs> I hope that was non-alcoholic. Commander. <laughs> the Normandy is ready, Shepard. All, all right. systems are armed, all ammunition is loaded, all reloads have been manufactured. Thruster fuel is at maximum. Cyber warfare suites have evolved in ways that would be computationally impossible to predict. <laughs> I have also kissed Joker <laughs> for luck. All right, what can go wrong now? How's your focus, Edie? Any big questions? No. Any small questions? No. Any lingering issues? About what? An imperfect designer who could be seen as a warped father figure, maybe? <laughs> Definitely not. <laughs> Did something prompt this line of questioning? I've just learned you have to ask about these things. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Especially about uh, daddy issues. Always ask your companions about daddy issues. The Normandy is ready, Shepard. <laughs> All right. <laughs> I wonder if this was, you know... A joke at all the daddy issues uh, you had to deal with in, in the previous game. <laughs> uh. There is new information on the private messages terminal. All right. How you holding up, Liara? Nervous. Frightened. Anxious to go. But glad I'm here. And I'm ready whenever you're ready, Shepard. In fact, I think I've checked my equipment <laughs> three times. Seven times, Dr. Tassoni. Stop me if I try for eight. <laughs> we can do this, Shepard. I think so too. Email from Captain A. Reynolds to Miranda Lawson. Mrs. Lawson, the Alliance wishes to express its gratitude for your assistance. With the information you've been sending us on Cerberus, we've been able to avoid ambushes they were setting up for our supply convoys. We'd offer you additional resources, but I understand you've procured a Class F private fighter and joined up with a former, colleague, former colleagues. I also understand that several Cerberus bases were lost after being attacked by a reported group of private special operatives of no known affiliation. The Alliance can't officially condone this kind of independent operation, nor do we actually confirm that these operations are taking place. <laughs> Good luck, Mrs. Lawson. <laughs> so basically, Miranda has become a privateer. Interesting. <laughs> oh. oh! We were just, uh... I, I, well, I, I just, uh, I came to say goodbye and, <laughs> well... Uh, I uh, think one of my mandibles got hooked on her helmet. <laughs> yeah. It might have caused a rupture, so I, I asked him to check. Well, you know, because of infection risks, didn't want to jeopardize the mission. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So... Yeah. You know what? Sorry that I interrupted. You guys should just, you know, do whatever you were doing right now. <laughs> uh, that is kind of adorable. I'm really happy for you. Both of you. I am. Uh... Thanks, Shepard. Appreciate it. Guess it helps to have something to come back to. It does, it what does. What do you mean to come back to? This is just a flame, Carrion. <laughs> I'm using you for your body. You're so uh, mean. <laughs> and I'm okay with that. That is amazing. This is amazing. Kill us a lie, Shepard. <laughs> At least we finally killed Lieutenant Bastard Kai Lang. Mm -hmm. I just hope we get to do the same to his general. It's kind of amazing how everything's come full circle. The Citadel's been the center of galactic civilization, a reaper trap, and my source of employment for a <laughs> long time. And now it's our salvation for any chance at winning this war. I think it's time we got you back home, Shepard. Earth will either be remembered as the place we beat the Reapers, or it'll be a smoking ruin <laughs> for the next cycle to wonder about. True. True. How's it going? Kill us a lie, Shepard. Okay, um, I'm, I'm out of here. You guys uh, have some fun, please. <laughs> Yeah.
You've come a long way since those days under Captain Anderson. <laughs> it has been my great honor to be with you through this journey. I'm proud of you. Thank you, Doctor. <laughs> Goodbye, Shepard. And good luck. Thank you. You've come a long way since those days <laughs> under Captain Anderson. She's, she's kind of like my second you. mom, right? <laughs> anyway, let's continue. Hey, Shepard. I was rough. So relieved to see you in one piece. <laughs> Ready to head home? Home. Back to Earth. <laughs> oh, yeah, I'm ready. About time. About freaking time. And if the Reapers mess with anything I left behind, <laughs> I'm gonna be so pissed. See you topside, Shepard. Yeah, I, I fear they may have messed with a lot of stuff, so uh, <laughs> I'm sorry about that. Hey, Shepard. I am prepared for whatever lies ahead, Commander. The Reapers have haunted the galaxy long enough. It is time to end the nightmare. The last Prothean awaits <laughs> your command. Thank you, Javik. Thank you. <laughs> there was no final battle against the Reapers in my cycle. A great moment lies before you, Commander. And you'll be there to join us. There was no final battle against <laughs> the Reapers in my cycle. Yeah, I know. A great moment lies before you, Commander. And thank you for always being such a ray of sunshine in our lives. <laughs> With you till the end, Shepard. <laughs> Thank you. Ma'am. <laughs> and finally, let's talk to James. Sticking it to that bastard Kai Ling must have felt good. Mm -hmm. It certainly did. Just wish we'd have caught up to the elusive man before he could screw us over again. <laughs> you and me both. Well, at least we get to head back to Earth. I've been asking for it. I just hope I'm going to make those Reapers pay. For everything they've done. Indeed. But yeah, I'm pretty sure the elusive man will get what's coming to him as well. And... Good dog. <laughs> let's let's uh, pet our uh, mechanical dog as well. Okay, so I think we made our probably final round uh, around the ship and talked to everyone. So next episode, we're probably heading back to Earth and, you know kick some people ass. So, as usual, thank you for watching. I hope you enjoyed and see you again next time.